Well, tonight we're getting a closer look at the video just released by the Monroe County Sheriff's Office that shows the incident that led to a correctional officer getting fired. Our Rachel Krause breaks down what happens in this video and why it caused the sheriff taking swift action. Now, we do want to warn you that what you're about to see is graphic. You better take me back to A-Block or it's going down. Body cam video released by the Monroe County Sheriff's Office shows the moments that led up to a fight inside the jail between an inmate and correctional officers. I want the force. The officers are trying to move the inmate to a medical observation cell. He doesn't want to go. That's when four officers move in. Four, come on. For the next 25 seconds, correctional officers use force as they try to subdue the inmate, eventually pinning him in place. That's when one officer appears to notice his split lip. Hitting the inmate again, even after he's been subdued. Four, put your left hand behind your back. Hey, man, I can beat me more. As officers lead the inmate out of his cell, his eye appears swollen shut. Blood drips down his nose. Damn, y'all gonna break my arm? As they work to get him into a restrained chair, Officers move forward. I'm not fighting. Mitchell, check, check through the shades. Through the shades. Hold on, I'm not fighting. Then stop moving. Stop. Stop. Here, I'm I can't breathe. I'm getting it. I can't breathe. Yeah, can't. I can't breathe. You're talking. I can't breathe. This happened on January 31st, less than two weeks ago. In a video sent to 13 News, Sheriff Ruben Marte says he quickly took action. I immediately contacted the Monroe County prosecutor and asked the Indiana State Police to conduct an independent criminal investigation. My office also conducted our own internal investigation. I am fine. Sheriff Marte says he decided to fire one of the corrections officers for failing to de-escalate the situation. He identified the officer as James Mitchell, shown in the video with the split lip. Although I have only been sheriff for a little more than a month, my goal remains to always ensure the highest level of excellence. I have the backs of all of my employees, but I will not hesitate to hold them accountable if they fail to follow our policies. Marte says use of force and de-escalation training for all corrections officers is already planned. In this incident, the inmate questioned the use of force multiple times. Why are you putting me in this chair? You assaulted an officer, multiple officers. I didn't assault none, it was 401. Okay, that video was hard to watch as we stated, and we want to know, is there any other action that's going to be taken following what happened here? Well, according to the Monroe County Sheriff, ISP presented their findings to the county prosecutor's office, and her office did decline to file any kind of criminal charges. Now, I did reach out to their office to ask what went into that decision. I haven't yet heard back. Okay, Rachel, thank you.